Oh my gosh. Okay. Hello world, and welcome back to Minecraft Memoir. This is episode 32. Uh, in the last episode, we worked on building the just giant underground tunnel that hasn't been named yet. Uh, and you can see it continues on that way. I started skimping out on uh, digging because I really just wanted to get to the end uh, to see the metaphorical and quite literal uh, light at the end of the tunnel. It helps me like get projects done. And uh, unfortunately, there's no light because it is nighttime. But uh, we struck land. So, actually, looks like we completely overshot the desert. Oh, there's two of them. We got this chicken as well. Uh, I had to, like, quick place these blocks and then I placed this off because uh, as soon as I broke through, I was like, oh, I gotta record this. So, I haven't really seen it. Okay, this is unexpected. I, I planned on being in the desert when I got out. Uh, I knew I was going quite a ways, but I didn't think I actually overshot the entire biome. So that's cool. Um, maybe we'll make a base here. We'll have to like build it up pretty vertical, but uh, you know, it's at, like at least the edge of the biome. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, let me get myself sorted here, uh, and make it daytime, hopefully, and we will go from there. Oh my gosh, this run back takes forever. <laughs> like, oh my, ow. Oh. The only thing about building or allowing all this grass to grow, is that all these mobs spawn down here. It's kind of nice. Like, I don't have to go back up to get food, but all the other very loud ones will spawn, too. So, yeah, I'm just running back. Uh, I'm going to craft a bunch of torches and torch up the whole area up there, uh, and then it'll be safe enough that I can do a little bit of building. Because uh, right now there's a bunch of cliffs and enemies are just dropping on us. Okay, so I've used about four stacks of torches and just kind of torched up everything nearby. Uh, and it's now nighttime again, so that took a while. Uh, but I think now I'm just going to kind of fill in this pool of water and continue up the staircase here. That'll help me figure out you know, where I want to place the structure. Right, and this is how we're looking after building through the night. Uh, I got the stairs built all the way up here. Uh, so, you know, I think I'll do most of the building for this actually off camera. Uh, I want to do something else for the episode today. Feels like we've been working on this for a while and there's other things to be done. But, yeah, I'll basically just, you know, expand it and get it all the way down there. Um, I'll have to work on a rail system here, but maybe we'll do that on camera. So, uh, yeah. So I feel like I haven't done enough with the series uh, in the actual memoir aspect of Minecraft memoir. That is, I haven't really gotten into the uh, history of the Minecraft version that we're currently playing. Not the 2.6 so far, as just the 0.2. Um, like, I haven't really gotten into what version 1.2 of Alpha does. Uh, its main thing is that it brought in the Nether. Uh, and before we upgrade to Beta 1.0, I would really like to see if we can get to the Nether. Uh, but before we go to the Nether, we have a whole bunch of things I want to do first. Such as, one, I need to build another portal, and I don't want that anywhere near this house. And two, I would like to get a wheat farm going, uh, as well as maybe a mushroom farm. And while I do have a lot of space in the house, I'd rather not have farms there, uh, or at least those kind of farms I'd rather not have. So I've decided I'm going to build kind of just a second base 
uh, into this side of the mountain. Uh, it's not really a second base, because it's kind of sort of an attachment to this one, but uh, it is physically a second building. Um, but it's, you know, going to hold our farms and the nether portal, so it doesn't make too much noise. Uh, so let me get things framed out here, and we'll go from there. Here's how the outside is looking now. Uh, I pretty much just mirrored that. Uh, almost exactly, uh, except for the button on the opposite side. Um, haven't done a whole lot. Uh, one thing is I wanted to have this little side garden, so I built it a few blocks over to the right. Um, so there's not really a whole lot of space to the left here, though. Uh, even with it where it is. Uh, if I had built it here, it actually would have probably been too long, so we made a good decision putting it there. Uh, so I haven't figured out this uh, bridge yet. I figure I'll probably do that off camera. It will probably be different from that. Uh, just, you know, whatever works best for the landscape here. Uh, you can also see that there's a bend in the stairs here. It's, again, not a one-to-one -one copy, just the outside. Uh, and it leads to this. So right now I need to figure out, uh, I guess, how we're going to separate the individual farms. Um, because there's going to be different ones, I suppose. And also we're going to have to have a room for the nether portal. Uh, so maybe I need to build a main hub room and then a hallway. Not sure. Got to figure that out. But, uh, yeah. Looking pretty good. So I've cleared out a big old area here. I'm probably going to have to clear out a lot more. But I wanted to show you before I did anything further. Uh, I'm not sure how big I want this to be. Like, I think I want a walkway of about three blocks here. But then I think maybe then I'll have a border block and then a farm next to it. And if water works the same way, uh, it should work in the center of a 9x9 nine nine to hydrate soil. So I suppose I could put one like here. Uh, just stuff to think about. I'm not really sure. I, I'm going to play with it. But, uh, yeah, this is where we're at. Here's how we're looking from the outside right now. Uh, I'm really liking this design. It, it's very modern looking. Uh, I hope that works out, like, because I want to kind of keep this design. Uh, so hopefully, you know, it's not too modern that it looks out of place. Here we are on the inside. Uh, so I decided I will have two 9x9 farms, uh, two 5x5s, and one 7x7. Seven seven. I think that's a nice split. Uh, looks pretty good size-wise. Uh, these have to pop out just a little farther than these. <laughs> I love watching the mobs fall. Uh, so I had to dig back a little bit, but that's actually fine because we broke out of the wall here and I'm thinking we'll put a window on this side as well. Uh, yeah, so this is looking really good. I'm, I'm liking this design. I'm having a hard time figuring out what I want to do here. Uh, I've got so many like different measurements I'm kind of juggling around with. Uh, it's hard getting everything square and I really like everything to be nice and square. Uh, I think I'm going a little bit overboard but uh, I'm kind of like redoing the stairs here. I'm probably going to redo this front entrance because uh, I kind of need access to the farms from all sides. Uh, it's a lot easier to like trample the soil in these versions. Uh, it's not like, you know, in future versions where you jump on a specific one and it definitely tramples. It's just kind of like random if you walk over it at all. Uh, and it's very heinous because if you walk over like any of this, uh, it'll also trample it, and then it just won't give you your seeds back. So, uh, like, these pillars are actually making it hard to harvest the crops. 
So I might need to redesign. Uh, we'll see what I come up with. I might just leave it, but um, I definitely want to get a walkway in there. And I might want to get a walkway in here. Let's see what I can do. I have been working on this thing for such a long time. It's been a few days since I last recorded that last clip. Um, before I tell you what I've done, here is what it looks like. Uh, I think you know, showing the outside gives kind of a better gauge of our progress because the inside looks just torn up. I, actually, no, that's that's a bit of a lie. It does look pretty nice now. Uh, I'll show you in a second. But uh, so you can see these like low pitched roofs. I think that's the right term. Um, you know, they're kind of small, short, and, uh, but the building itself is long and got big glass windows. Uh, kind of reminds me of a, uh, like pavilion I worked in at a garden center itself. It's kind of mimicked after that. Not entirely. Um, also that one was, you know, different color scheme and looked a lot different, <laughs> but, uh, helps give some inspiration. Um, you might notice, I don't know if you have, uh, this whole thing is further down two blocks. I decided that I didn't like, um, well, one, I didn't like how, uh, like low the roofs were, but also it, it felt like I had to go up a lot more into this mountaintop. Um, and I wanted the house to be a lot more like in the mountain, not on top in the mountain, if that makes any sense. I wanted there to be more like mountain material on the house. Um, but if I had to build it up even more to get a higher ceiling, then I definitely would have taken too much material. So, yeah. And I did build this indeed over one block to, I guess, the left if you're looking at it from this direction. Um, so yeah, it's in a bit of a state of dismay because I had to rebuild the entire thing two blocks down. And I don't know if you knew this, um, here, actually, I'll show you. If you till land, uh, shovels don't, like, work as efficiently, so it took forever. I had to basically, like, run around and stomp on all the crops, uh, or not on the crops, on the, uh, farmland. Oop. My bad. Uh, on the farmland, like, after I harvested the crops. So, I put a chest row in here for some storage. Uh, a lot of our other storage stuff is at the house, or a lot of our, uh, what do you call it, wheat. We have like eight or nine stacks of wheat now. It's really good. Um, we're like not going to run out of food. And like all this needs to be harvested. Uh, so I also mentioned how I was having a hard time harvesting these crops. So I did indeed also add a pathway here. Just a one block uh, helps me get around it on the you know, front side here. Uh, everywhere else is three block wide, but I figured just up there, I didn't want this going that much farther forward, because uh, as it is, I'm going to have to build this landscape out to make it look like this building is covered, again, more by the mountain. So I think it's looking really good, though, and I'm liking these posts. Uh, I had to go out and chop a bunch of more wood. You can also see I've had to switch to iron tools. It's so sad. Um, I, I'm basically completely out of diamonds. Uh, digging that giant underground tunnel took way more diamonds than, uh, we actually gained. We only gained, like, 15 or so. I just tried right-clicking this. Oh, uh, we only gained, like, 15 or so, and we used, like, way more. We used definitely over half a stack of diamonds. Uh, again, I don't know if I've mentioned this. Unfortunately, in these versions, diamond tools durability is, like, less than half of what it is. Uh, in modern versions, so we chew through tools a lot faster. I think it's like 500-ish, uh, and then iron tools are 250, don't quote me on that. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, off-camera do just a bunch of strip mining, which uh, really sucks, because I'm not a huge fan of strip mining. But uh, in regards to this building, what we need to do now is get the roof extended, uh, I still have these interior walls. This area here as well is going to be changed. I just threw a door here because I needed a way in and out. Uh, and I need to get the mobs out of here because they keep trampling my crops. So I need to get these walls done. Uh, this back wall here, I said I was going to put a window in. But I'm not really sure 
how I want that to work out. Um, but here's what it looks like over here. So yeah, it's coming along nicely. After a bit of contemplating and designing up here, uh, this is what I came up with. I think this is a good final design. I'm not finished with it yet, but uh, I wanted to show it to you before I finished it. So uh, these three original roofs uh, I've kept here, obviously. I've extended them out towards the back. Uh, but then I figured, like, I wanted more roofs. <laughs> I wanted to make it look bigger, you know, nicer, cooler. Uh, and I didn't want them all running that way. I initially built just this one. And then it looked kind of weird because I just had... Oh my... I keep falling down here. Because I keep wanting to back up, but then there's a just massive hole. Uh, anyway, uh, I thought it looked weird because there were only roofs running this way. Uh, this way, I suppose. Um, so I built this one, and then I was like, ooh, I could have both. I could have a uh, roof running this way and this way, and then I could make this whole top roof uh, like a big square. And you can see here, I'm going to actually leave uh, like a bunch of dirt in the middle. Because um, it would, IRL I suppose, that it would probably be open. That'd be like a courtyard down there. But, you know, let's say, I don't know, it's been filled in due to erosion or whatever. And uh, that's what the base is going to look like. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm actually not sure if that's going to, I'll be the same for this corner here. Uh, since it's exposed, I might change it up a little bit. Uh, you know, make it look bigger, more important. But uh, that'll definitely be the case for these three corners. And uh, after I build those, I'm actually going to uh, build up the landscape more. Uh, and cover some of the roof more, maybe. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to cover anything, but I'm definitely going to build up the landscape more because I think it, ooh, that was a big flag spike. Um, hope you didn't see that, <laughs> but, uh, I think the landscape's just a little too small here. Um, and I, likewise, I think I might build up that landscape there too. Uh, but I'm trying to give like a good, uh, like foreground, middle ground and background in every like position of this place. And I haven't succeeded everywhere, but that's like the end goal. Um, and that's like kind of an end goal in every build I have, you know? Um, and every build that you have should, you know, it's, it's a good like design thing to keep in mind. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to keep working on this roof here, uh, filling stuff in. What's wrong, little guy? Hey, it'll be alright. He got in a sniper duel. Now he's kind of upset. Why don't I just... There you go. Oh! Oh, he was still in the sniper duel! Oh, I just helped him. Oh, that was really funny. I actually thought he uh, won the battle. Uh, I'm doing some mining down here. Found four diamonds. Uh, it's going pretty well. Although I think I'm lost now. So, that's exciting. Uh, but yeah, getting a decent amount of resources. Alright, so I mined enough to uh, justify having diamond tools again. Uh, you can see I've got 14 diamonds here, and then I've got... I think another half, uh, or no, maybe a quarter stack uh, at the base. I brought some back. Um, I went mining for a while. My idea here is that uh, I'm going to mine all the way down to negative 100z this way. And uh, I think I'm also going to negative 100x this way. Uh, and then I'm going to meet them up in the corner there. And, uh, and then I'll use you know, that border as, like, kind of an edging to figure out, uh, you know, how much I'm going to mine for the strip mine going all the way down uh, this way. So 
big project, but uh, we need the resources, and it's going to be just like a long-term thing. And up here on the surface, I also did a bunch of minor tasks. Uh, you can see here I tested out like a potential path pattern. Um, I feel like I use cobblestone too much in the buildings already as it is. So I might take out the cobblestone and maybe replace it with like sand. Um, I was thinking about using sand for this build, but I just, I don't like the idea of using literal sand in buildings. I'd rather it be sandstone, which is not in this version yet. So maybe sand would be better as a like path block, at least in this alpha themed village, you know, or alpha slash early beta, because I'll definitely be here into early beta. Uh, for the, what, greenhouse, yes, <laughs> I, uh, I forgot the name of it, and I also worked on an entrance over here. Uh, initially, you probably saw it just led straight out, but I didn't like that. Uh, I really want these houses to be more in the mountains. So I built up a like fake bit of mountain. Uh, so it kind of goes in like here. I think it's nice. Uh, I cleaned up the inside here. I don't know if I showed that on camera. Uh, so it's basically finished in here now. Uh, the only thing is, so it's not finished in here. Actually, it's not finished by any means. Uh, this side is finished. You can see here, this is just a stone wall. Uh, I would also like to add in, where are they? Yeah, uh, a mushroom farm in the future. Uh, I don't think you can grow mushrooms in this early alpha version. I think that's later into beta. Uh, I want a cactus farm and I would like a sugarcane farm as well. Maybe a tree farm because that'll be a thing I think I can do in beta 1.0, uh, but Maybe that'll be later. Uh, this was really just kind of a crop-focused area. But I think it looks very nice. Um, I tried to make like all the structural supports make sense. Some of them don't really, like the bowing beams, but we'll just kind of run with it. Um, so I'm not finishing there. Again, I've still got like those other farms to make. Uh, and I might still like change things up because it does look a bit... I don't know, I feel like some of these blocks are all the same. I mean, the, a lot of these blocks are all the same. But, um, I might, like, you know, pop things out in walls or, like, put stairs here and there to make it look a little fancier. Uh, so up here, I have a lot more work to do. I haven't built any of the landscape up, really. Um, like, over here where I said I was going to. Uh, this is what it looks like with this bit built up. Uh, and since this is so built up, I probably need to follow suit around the rest of the house. Like, maybe here? I don't know. I don't have any windows on this wall, so it might warrant it. I'm really just kind of, like, thinking out loud, uh, but on camera here. I'm trying to give you a bit of my thought process. Uh, I feel like I don't, I don't really do any building on camera because it's really hard for me to build and talk. Uh, but I can, like, lay things out for you and then, you know... In the next clip, I can show them to you. So, I didn't end up doing anything with this roof here. Uh, I will, I think, eventually. Like, probably build uh, a large attachment on or something. But uh, I think getting it all, like, even and then doing the changes is probably best. Uh, so, yeah, here's how it's looking. Uh, I haven't, like, smoothed out this landscape either. But uh, it's still a work in progress. So, yeah, uh, I think it's, it's looking pretty good. Uh, I also did, ooh, let's see if I can, so I did a little bit of terraforming along the uh, wall here. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm trying to, again, make it look like it was more into the mountain. I also need to fix the side garden here because of the way I shifted uh, the whole thing down two blocks and over. Uh this kind of got messed up. So, yeah. Oh, and the chests. I need to move those. <laughs> but we have a lot of wheat. Yes, this is all just from, like, passive grinding. Uh, like, every time I AFK, I AFK in here. So, it's been working out very well. 
All right, so I've decided that to sort of finish off the episode here, uh, we are indeed just going to like finish the roof, or uh, at least get as close as we can to it. So let me try and mark out like a curve with the dirt here. Uh, this is how I do most of like terraforming, is I build like as much of the structure as I possibly can, uh, and then I just build literally right over it and break it up where it needs to be broken. So I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I think I want to move this tree down there. Uh, I have to go get some slabs for that. Oh gosh, I'm going to have to punch out these leaves because I think I might want to leave this tree where it is. Uh, and then I definitely think I'm going to build up the landscape. But again, I, I don't think I want to cover much more of this roof. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll cover that much. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I'm okay with that. A little irregularity looks nice. Like, I don't want to be able to, you know, walk up it on every spot. What do you think here? <laughs> the, uh, the whole idea is I'm just kind of like building mounds. So uh, that's it all kind of like framed out. And really, I'm just going to be build, blah, 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 building it up. Uh, and then I will, you know, refigure out this bit here. I might uh, cover a lot more than I thought. OK, uh, <laughs> I've been out here at night uh, just torching everything up and I straight up almost died. Um, but I wanted to show you at last, we are pretty much done here with uh, this landscape. Uh, so like I said, you know, I built it up four or five blocks here in the middle uh, and a little towards the back. I also threw some trees on. Uh, in the future, I'll probably end up building something up here. But for now, uh, I just wanted to like look natural. Uh, so I figured some trees would kind of help blend in uh, any mistakes I made with the uh, terraforming here. Uh, I also did end up, I can't remember if I did this in between shots, but uh, I mentioned that I was definitely covering up a lot more than I thought, uh, and I did. Like, initially I was just going to cover up the corner, uh, like, connecting bit of this roof and that roof, but uh, I like the way it looks a lot more with it covered near the doorway here. So, yeah, I, I think this looks uh, really good. Uh, I also put in some doors underneath let me show you. Uh, I put in some doors here. Actually, I only put this door in. Uh, it's only two and a half blocks up here, so I can't really put much. I might be able to put chests. Uh, so it could be a like wheat slash seed storage up here. But uh, yeah, that's for the future. So yeah, we got a lot of progress done today. Um, I mean, we put in this whole building. Uh, it is the foundation for all of our farms in the future, so I'm quite pleased. Uh, I think I'm still going to maybe mess around with some stuff, figure out what, uh, especially with the designs in there for, like, mushroom and cactus and sugarcane farms. Uh, I'll figure that out in between, like, episodes. Uh, I don't actually know if we'll be doing that next episode, because we also need to be taking more steps to get to the nether because uh, we really need to do that. But I do have a lot of, like, miscellaneous infrastructure stuff here I want to do. Um, like, for instance, I want to make a pathway there, or I want to fix up this window here. Uh, small things, so we'll figure that out. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, have a great rest of your day, and take care.